Welcome back. I hope that you're all are fine. Dear audience, today I'm going to discuss on more problems relating with uh, integration by pairs. Here, question number five. Integration x sine x cos x dx. Dear audience, if we observe it, then we'll find that there are three functions. But we know that integration by pairs it is applicable for the two functions. So we should make these three function. That means we should express these three function as a product of two function. For doing that, we put half outside of the integration and inside the integration we put 2 then it becomes half x into 2 sine x cos x again we know that 2 sine x cos x can be written as sine 2x now inside the integration we find integration x sine 2x dx here we find uh, there are two function and they are in the multiplication form that means the given three function um, are expressed as the product of two functions x sine 2 x if we compare these two function we know the integration of the both functions that means we can take any of them as u that means first function here we consider x as a first function and sine 2x as a second function v then applying the formula that means first function into integration of second function minus integration differentiation of the first function into integration of the second function dx then we know that the integration of sine 2x is x minus x cos 2x by 2 that means integration integral of sine 2 of x is exactly cos 2 of x by 2 and we obviously in minus sign we should use the minus sign before it and in place of x we put your x and uh, differentiation of x is x uh, sorry one and the integration of sine 2 x is again uh, the minus cos 2 x by 2 we hear this minus sign and the minus sign before the integration sign um, it becomes the plus sign then after that again we express uh, that means again we doing the integration cos 2x is it will be the uh, sine 2x by 2 and um, multiplying by half we get minus 1 by 4x cos 2x plus 1 by 8 sine 2x plus c where c is the integral constant similarly in problem number 6 we will find that there are two functions and one of them is the um, there is a, s a square that means power so we have to express as a multiple of um, the given angle and for doing that uh, we consider we put half outside the integration sign and two inside the integral sign then it becomes half integration x two sine square x dx Again, we know that 2 sine square x is uh, equal to is equal to 1 minus cos 2x, so we substitute that. Then um, we put, um, that means we multipl uh, multiply uh, 1 minus cos 2x by x, we get x minus x cos 2x dx. Now, we use the integration sign uh, with the, all of the terms of the given expression we have half of integration x dx minus half integration x cos 2x dx and here the integration of x is the x square by 2 then we write here 
half of x square by 2 minus half and uh, applying the uv integration uv dx here we get x integration cos 2x dx minus integration derivative of x integration cos 2x dx dx now the integration of cos 2x is the sine 2x by 2 and the derivative of x is 1 and the integration of cos 2x is the sine 2x by 2 putting those we get um, x square by 4 minus half x into sine 2x by 2 minus integration 1 sine 2x by 2 dx now again in, in doing integral we get uh, the minus cos 2x by 2 that means we know that integration of sine 2 of x dx can be written as minus cos 2x by 2 putting that, that uh, and, and doing calculation we get x square by 4 minus 1 by 4x sine 2x minus 1 by 8 cos 2x plus c where c is the integral constant and uh, um, second problem um, that means integration x cos square x dx also can be done by in the following the previous problem but here you have to remember that 2 cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos 2x it is another trigonometric formula uh, you will find the another problem integration x sine square x by 2 dx here um, since there is a power uh, of sine squared so uh, to make it in the multiple of the given angle uh, we should put the 2 before the sine square then if we put 2 before the sine square uh, then for balancing we have to use the half outside the um, integration sign then 2 sine square x by 2 can be written as 1 minus cos 2 uh, cos x um, and that means x by 2 will be the double of it that means uh, x and following the previous problem the rest of the part can be done dear audience in integration in problem number 8 you will find that the x square and cos x dx here are two functions one of them is the x square another is the cos x and we know that integration of x square and cos of x so we we can take any of them as the first function u and obviously another function will be the second function p so here we consider x square is the first function and um, trigonometric function cos x we consider as a second function pausing the video and if you um, if you try to solve this problem I hope that you can solve this problem here another problem x cube sin x uh, similarly we can take x cube as a first function and sine of x as a second function and repeatedly apply this formula and we can get the solution of it and the solution of it is the minus x cube cos of x plus 3x squared sin x plus 6x cos x minus sin 6 sin x plus c pausing this video i hope that you can solve this problem now here uh, the integration x x square x dx here uh, we can consider x as a first function and sec square x as a second function and again we know that the integration of tan of x is the ln of sec of x and applying this formula we find that integration of x sec square x dx equals x tan x minus ln of sec of x plus c here sin is square, 1 by sin square x can be written as cos square x and uh, we consider x as a first function and cos square x as a second function then it becomes uh, uh, why because we know uh, the integration of cos square x so if we take the 
um, square square x is the first function uh, this problem can be done but the answer may not similar to this it, uh, or formation it uh, appearance may be look like the another format that means another um, appearance it will come along with an, another appearance integration x second square thrice x dx here second square also can be written in uh, second square second square the integration of second square three x is the ten x uh, by ten x three x by three and that is why we consider it is as a second function and again the integration of ten three x can be written as ln of sec of three x by three here x ten square x and 10 square x can be written as sec square x and we have written here sec square x minus 1 and um, using the integration to the all of the terms with all of the terms we get x sec square x dx minus integration x dx again we consider x as a first function and sec square x as a second function that it becomes x into integration of second function sec square x minus integration differentiation of the first function into integration of the second function x square x dx and minus x square by 2 and here the integration of x square x is the 10x so I put that I put the 10x so it becomes x uh, x 10x minus integration 10x dx minus x square by 2 Then again, um, we write. Uh, we know that integration of ten of x is the ln of sec of x. So replacing that, we uh, find that x ten x minus ln of sec of x minus half of x squared plus c, where c is the integral constant, and um, sec, of, sec of x can be written as one by cos of x. Then applying the formula of form, we get ln of 1 minus minus plus ln of cos of x. And ln of 1 will be the 0, so x 10x plus ln of cos of x minus x squared by 2 plus c is the uh, required integral. Cos cube x. Cos cube x can be written as cos x into cos x square x. Um, since we know the integration of cos x square x that is why we consider cos x square x a second function p obviously the cos x will be the another function and that means first function u and applying this we get um, Uh, cos uh, applying the uh, applying the formula for integration by pairs we get cos of cos sec of x integration cos x square x dx and uh, similarly the derivative of the first function cos sec of x into integration of the uh, second function cos sec square x dx now uh, uh, writing the integral uh, and derivative of the cosec square x and cosec x respectively we get uh, cosec x into minus cos of x minus integration minus cos of x cos of x uh, into minus cos of x dx then it becomes minus cos of x square x minus integration cos of x cos square x dx here cos square x also can be written as cos q cos is cos square x minus 1 and then we find a minus cos of x core x minus uh, integration cos q of x dx plus integration cos of x dx and integration cos of cos of x dx equals ln of 10 of x by 2 I put that here and I consider uh, integration cos cube x dx as a then the equality becomes i equals minus cos of x into cos of x 
minus i plus log of 10 of x by 2 then if i uh, bring the minus i from left to sorry right to left side then it becomes plus i so i plus i means 2i and remaining for is the minus cos of x cos of x plus log of 10 of x by 2 then if i bring the 2 from the left side to the right side it become half then i equals that means integration of cos cube x dx equals half minus cos sec x cos x plus log of 10 of x by 2 plus c here audience i am going to discuss an another problem which is the integration e to the power x cos x dx between these two function uh, we know the integration of the both function but if we take cos of well, here we take cos of x as a um, first function and e to the power x as a second function if we take the cos of x as a second function it will do but another answer will be um, obtained so um, considering cos of x, cos x as the first function we get here um, first function into integration of the second function d the power x dx minus integration derivative of the first function cos of x into integration of second function e to the power x dx now the we know that the integration of uh, e to the power x uh, is the e to the power x so we can write e to the power x um, e to the power x cos of x plus e to the power x and the derivative of cos of x is this minus sine of x and this minus and this minus will be the plus so we can write here plus e to the power x sine x dx if i uh, repeat the same formula here we get um, sine of x e to the power x dx minus integration derivative of sine of x integration of e to the power x dx then it becomes e to the power x cos x e to the power x sine x minus e to the power x cos x dx now if we consider integration e to the power x cos x dx as a i then the equality becomes i equals e to the power x cos of x sine x minus i and after intermission we get twice i equals e to the power x cos of x sine x then i equals half e to the power x cos of x sine x plus c where that means integration of e to the power x cos x dx equals e to the power x whole divided by 2 into cos of x plus sine of x plus c dear audience i hope that you could understand the today's lesson again i'll come along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye